by declaring pandemic, they've pushed the button on this juggernaut that they've created. And of course, antivirals are part of that and vaccines are part of that and the whole panoply is part of that. All I'm saying is let's act with a little bit of caution, common sense, and let's look at the evidence, the hard evidence. Until they actually get used, we, we do not know whether they work. Their seasonal counterparts don't have a very good track record. The evidence from uh, the hundreds of studies that we synthesized is that sometimes they, they work a little uh, and sometimes they don't. In general, the quality of the literature is such that it's very difficult to understand whether they actually work, but they are pumped up. The thing that really scared me was SARS. That was a demonstration of how unpredictable these uh, viral agents can be. There's this one-way obsession with influenza, and the rest we know very little. In front of a poor de poorly defined and changeable threat, what you have to adopt is a strategy of broad response, not putting all your money on one horse. We've been brought up, people of my generation, to understand that a pandemic means deaths and a lot of serious cases. And that, that seems to have dropped out of sight. Uh, and they're lowering the threshold of a definition of a pandemic. Uh, and that is not a good thing in many ways. One would expect them to make some money. But on the other hand, I mean, groups like Glaxo, I'm, I'm not a financial expert, but I can see over the years, they have put a lot of investment into making these vaccines and flu vaccine to be, you know, it has not been a highly profitable area for any of these companies. And it was for that reason, actually, that most companies pulled out of the United States where they used to make vaccine. They just found they couldn't make money on it. And it's for that reason they're all sitting here in Europe. So up to now, anyway, they've all spent quite a lot of money investing and not got that much back. Professor Jefferson is a very respected uh, person in the field, but he does tangentially come at the field of, of virology, I think. He's very always very critical. You know, if one, one hears uh, Dr. Jefferson, you think, oh no, what's he, what's he criticizing now? Um, are the vaccines not working? The antiviral drugs are not working? This not working? I was amazed and rather pleased actually to see him praising hygiene and hand hygiene. At least he agrees about that. But I think most people, the vast majority of people who spent their lives, and I do slightly object um, to his phrase that everyone's waiting for something to happen. That's not the case. I do disagree with Dr. Jefferson about the importance of flu. I know he's saying that other viruses are more important, but you can look at it another way, and I think you have to be you know, positive about it. I think the investment in influenza is, from the American government, from our own government, the EU, is a very satisfactory area to invest in.